to take the message to the ends of the earth. We will give you the best deals for live or delayed broadcasts of your programs so that jointly we can fulfill the assignment that Jesus Christ has sent us to achieve. With our state-of-the-art DSN GC band equipment, or if it is KU band you desire, we will pick your programs and transmit it via satellite across the globe to millions of viewers live. For details of how to benefit from the deal, get in touch with us on telephone numbers 081-555-79502 or 080-329-71694. Get in touch with us well ahead of your programs and let us show you how to make the work easy at very friendly rates. Call now and let's talk about that next program of yours. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Welcome you specially to the Open Heavens International Center. I tell you that I had several encounters with God in that house. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The anointing in that house is uh, awesome. Are you a father or a potential father of children? The General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, invites all fathers, potential fathers, and their families to a special prayer on Sunday, 5th April 2015. Theme, You Shall Be The Head. Venue, RCCG National Headquarters, The Throne of Grace, 1 to 9, Redemption Way, Putemeta, Lagos. Time, 7.30 a.m. Free transportation from Costin, Ojo Legba, or Balinde, Maryland. This is one prayer meeting you cannot afford to miss. Let someone shout hallelujah. Indeed, it's an exciting day, a beautiful day like this. We should always give thanks to God. Despite all that's been said over the weekend, despite everything that happened over the weekend, we're still alive to give thanks to God. And thank God for the peace, the peace of rain that is showered upon us all through till this morning. Thank God that we're alive once again. And to all our extinct viewers watching us, thank God that we're all alive to see this wonderful day. You're on to Springs of Life on Dove Television, and my name is Uluwa Femi Odunton. It's a brand new day indeed, and it's a new beginning for everyone out there. And I'm sure a lot of you might be asking what Springs of Life is all about. So I'm always here just to share with you the Word of God. 
and also to draw you close to God at all times that no matter what you go through in life always give thanks to God and always go back to God and ask him father what do you want me to do concerning this situation once again welcome well, before we go into our today's topic, we'll have our special guest here with us. He's a uh, part of Springs of Life, an elder in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And um, he's here with us to throw more light on the Word of God. His name is Pastor B. Yowolabi. Sir, you're welcome to Springs of Life. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you too. And thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you. Glory be to God, a peaceful one indeed. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll look into today's topic, but we'd like you to please lead us in a short prayer. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for making us gradually to see the end of the first quarter of the year 2015. Mm. We thank you, Lord, because really this month we have marched forward. And we are going to a month where you are going to touch our life. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, even as we go to your work, please speak to us, Amen. direct us, Amen. guide us. Amen. Don't let us corrupt your word. Mm. Use us for your glory. Mm. And let all the hearers benefit for the glory of your name. Mm. Spirit of the living God, we rely completely on you. Mm. Just take over and let it be well. Mm. At the end of it, all, let's give God the glory to you. Mm. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, looking at the topic, benefits of being patient. At times when we go through storm in life, we find a way of getting out of it by our own self. But sometimes it's good to always wait patiently, eagerly to God's words. What does his word say about being patient? What are the benefits of being patient? What's the meaning of being patient? How long can we be patient in order for us to, yes, get through to God's blessing? We'll look at this topic once again and we want to say big thank you to you, Daddy, for coming on this platform. Mm -hmm. Benefit of being patient. Before we look into the benefit of being patient, let's define what patience is all about. Okay, the first thing we want to talk about is the benefits. Mm -hmm. Benefits are the advantages you get from a particular action. And uh, it brings improvement, progress, to the beneficiaries, it depends on the benefit, something that you, ben you gain from. Mm. And when you talk of patience, you are talking of the ability to forbear every challenges that may occur in pursuit of a particular matter. Mm. That is, to wait calmly for a long time without complaining, Without, without angry and getting angry mm. or getting anxious mm. that you just keep your cool mm. no matter the challenges that comes that way mm. you should not be anxious you should yes. just wait patiently yes, mm. Mm. all right can we look into the bible text and see what does yeah, the word want of to god take the bible text from the book of hebrews hebrews chapter 10 we can read from verse 36 to 39 we we'll start from verse 35, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 to 39, say, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which are great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of, the, of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. From that passage, you can see that for you to be patient, you have to be somebody of confidence. And from the passage, we can see certain things. That those who will receive the benefits of patience will be prepared to do the will of God. In John chapter 9, verse 31, John 9, 31. John 9, 31. 31. John chapter 9, 31. Our Lord says that he has come, that his purpose is to do the will of his Father. 
He said, now, now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and does his will, him he yes. heareth. That was the blind man that was born blind. He gave that revelation. And that thing that must not be hung, hung be in a hurry, mm. but what wait for God's time. Habakkuk chapter two. We must not be in a hurry to wait yes. for God's time. Yes, if you say you are uh, somebody that wants to get the reward, mm. you must wait for the reward. Habakkuk chapter two verse three. He said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Sorry. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, mm -hmm. it will not tarry. That goes that if you have confidence in God, you are doing His will, I mean, and you will not be in a hurry. Another thing is that you must have faith in God and trust Him. One, Psalm 37. Psalm 37, when we read from verses 3 to 5. Psalm 37, verse 3 to 5 says, Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thy heart. Commit thy weight unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Hmm. And another thing is we need to do is, as we say, ready to endure all obstacles and use them as a stepping stones. Mm. In Matthew chapter 24, Matthew 24, verse, verse 13, Matthew 24, verse 13, the Bible say, our Lord said, but he that shall endure to the end, the saints shall be saved. Endurance, another one for patience. To be able to endure to the end. Yes. So why, with all the Bible passages, and we're still going to look into more of these Bible passages. Of course. Why are we still struggling to wait for the Because we don't really, number one is that, one, you have to be sure of yourself. Mm. Have that confidence. And as we said, trust in the Lord. I know definitely your time will come. If God has said it, you know, when we are talking of the I mean, <laughs> benefit of uh, patience, we are talking, another thing we look at is that it is the promises of God that we are talking about. Mm. That how do we benefit from all the promises? Mm. Whatever God says concerning you, apart from the general one in the Word of God, Apart from even your own self, if you want to, as we shall see later, you can see examples of people who, through impatience, mm. pay dearly for it. And that, lastly, on that, when we see talking about our test, we must not look back, but moving forward. We must not look back. But yes. Yeah, you, the, the confidence will be such that at no time you just look back. In Luke chapter nine verse sixty-two. Even when you when the storm seems like covering you up. <laughs> <laughs> Luke chapter nine verse sixty-two. And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand on the plow and looking back is free for the kingdom of God. Hmm. If you start looking back when you are not supposed to then there's no way you will get the reward or the, or the benefits of the reward. The reward will not come. They will not just, I mean, the, the, pay, the benefits will not come. Mm. So, but if you are patient, moving forward, pressing on the mark, and not looking back, then you can be sure that the, the, pay, the benefits will come. Mm. So we have to press forward as individuals, yes. not looking back. Yes. Looking back is like you're doubting God that Down this or promise backsliding. Is going to pass or backsliding. Yes. Yeah. If you call yourself a Christian, you know you are being needs, you are keeping yourself holy, you are living as a child of God. And suddenly some people are there, you say, how many years we use continue doing this holy holy? And you now say, ah, 
let me join them. Mm. We started doing the artillery. This is not too bad. Before you know it, you look back. Mm. Somebody said that if you are driving a vehicle and you just turn to one side and keep on to the other side, before you know it, the vehicle will turn back to where it's coming from. Mm. That is turning back. That because you just have to be focused. Mm. Mm. That's the only way one can be from I mean, we have the benefit of, of being able to be patient and be benefit from whatever promises, whatever things he's struggling for. Mm. All right. Uh, looking at those Bible texts, we'll still come back to those Bible texts because I still have want to have one or two questions. How much actually the benefit of patience? Mm. Uh, there are many of them. Let's just take about eight of them. Okay. If you benefit, I will quote the Bible passage anyway. <laughs> just like if you want to have benefit of patience, bene one of the benefits of patience is we, we want to make heaven. Okay. Which is the ultimate. Mm. In Luke chapter 21, Luke chapter 21, when we read verse 19, Luke 21, 19, it says, In your patience, possess ye your souls. In your patience? Yes. People, if you are not patient, there's no way you can make it to the kingdom of God. James chapter 5. James chapter 5, verses 7 and 8. James chapter 5 says, Be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband man waited for the precious fruit of the earth, and have long patience for it, until he received the early and later rain. But ye also patient, establish your heart, for the coming of the Lord draweth near. Hmm. And people may be patient, when is he going to come? Is he still coming? Are we sure we'll be coming? Well, people that are not patient will not be able to make it to the kingdom of God. Is that why Moses did not make it to the promise? Hey, it's only it's quite different. Okay. It was uh, anger and disobedience. Mm. <laughs> okay. And, uh, he made it to heaven. He only doesn't get to the promised land. He made it to heaven, but he didn't get to the promised land. Yes, and <laughs> he didn't get to Canaan. Hmm. God told him, say, no, no, no. You are part of the rebellious. <laughs> you, I told you, I gave instruction. You see, one thing we have to understand is that as Christians, there are categories of that levels. What a baby Christian will do, and God will not punish him. Some Christian can't do it, they will be punished. Mm. There are some of us, if we disobey him in the morning, we have to know he will punish us. So we have two different <laughs> kinds of Christians. No, it's not two, you know, I say categories. Okay, we have categories of Christians. So we have the upper and we uh -huh. have the... You have baby uh -huh. one. We have baby uh -huh. one that still, uh -huh. still uh -huh. finding uh -huh. way to be, you understand? Uh -huh. Like Paul said, some people are still taking milk. Milk. Hmm. And people are taking meat, but some are taking bones. Hmm. So how would you know that you're a baby Christian? Oh, it, may, it, it depends on your behavior and the way you look at passive things. Wow. And the way you obey God. Hmm. Hmm. So that you can classify that, okay, I'm on this level, the way I obey God. At that way... you may not even know the level you are. Wow. Because I say categories. Hmm. It's not one, two, three, it can be loving. I mean, okay, <laughs> it depends. Mm. And it, it doesn't have anything to do with age. Mm. It doesn't have to move your way with this. It's just the, the at times, even what God deposited in you. But I would say to whom much is given, much is, much is expected. Praise the Lord. <laughs> All right, so let's so continue. They get divine strength. If you are patient, you will have power of God. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Colossians 1, he said, That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, good work and increasing in the honor of God, 
strengthening with all might according to the glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. You are doing the good work, you are strengthening all your power in your, your, your glorious power. The power of God will be embodied on you because you are patience. Okay. You are not Do we have some people in the Bible that are patient to wait uh, patiently on God's promises? Of course. <laughs> there are many of them. They didn't know. even go astray. They didn't even, um, okay, like maybe someone will come, like Abraham. We know the story of Abraham. Mm, not okay. the wife, wrong, not, ain't, ain't ever made the wife. But he ended up sleeping with the maid and he had mm. another son from another and woman. That's a different thing. That's a different thing entirely. But there are some people in the Bible that they stayed faithfully to God. They said, take for example, take for Daniel. Mm. Take the proof of Elijah. Okay. Elisha, mm. some of them people, faithful. Till the end. Till the end. There are people like that. And in the New Testament, too, we have people like Apostle Paul. Immediately he knew the truth. <laughs> Apart from people that we know, Apostle, what of Cornelius? Mm. Not people like that. Just to have the conviction, no matter what anybody is saying. It's not a question of say I, I come to church, I didn't come to church one Sunday, they didn't ask of me, I won't come again. <laughs> <laughs> that should be to some categories. <laughs> as, if, as if the pastor is the one that is coming to church for. <laughs> That's where some people get it all wrong. You yes. know, you say because the pastor did not ask of you, uh, or the pastor don't care about you, then you stop you going to that church. Worthy of the Lord. Also, Isaiah chapter forty, verse thirty-one. Isaiah forty thirty-one. It's more or less very popular a passage. Isaiah forty thirty-one. He said, "But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength." They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Mm. They shall run and not be weary, mm. and they shall walk and not faint. So, one of the benefits is divine strength of patience. Another thing is that they prosper in whatever they lay their hands to do. Mm. Patient people we always get the reward. They can't do anything that will not give them, uh, you know, the benefit. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, we we'll read verses 8 and 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verses 8 and 9. It says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning mm -hmm. thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger rested in the, mm -hmm. in the, in the bosom of fools. Mm -hmm. In fact, so if you if you you want you know, you wait, it's not a good uh, they don't do this to me. James chapter one, verse three and four. James chapter one still talking about getting a reward on anything you lay your hands to do. James chapter one verses three and four. He said, knowing this, that the trial of your faith work at patience. But let patience have their perfect work, that you may be perfect and, 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 and entire way wanting nothing. Mm. Whatever you do, if you are patient, eventually the reward will come. Mm. Being yeah. patient in whatever one does. Yes. The and will at the end, you will lack nothing. Mm. Do we find people like that in our own time? We, we still have, have people. We like have that. because they are not being published. <laughs> mm. Because they are not making noise. We have. At times, because you, the majority are doing something wrong, many people think that they are all everybody. Remember the time of Elijah? Mm. He told God, "I'm the only one." God said, "Stop your mouth." Mm. I see I have 7,000 people. Wow. <laughs> Some hmm. people like that, they will not make noise. They will not even be pastors. They will not be popular. They will not be rich. But they are very patient in God. 
When it comes to the things of God, they are very patient. Praise be to God. And they get direct, directions from God. That is, God guides them in whatever they do. And in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 5. He said, and the Lord directs your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. Hmm. When you wait on him, wait for him, he will direct you, guide you to say, this is what you want to do. This is the way you should go. This is what we are not supposed to do. Isaiah 58 tells us another thing. You know, I like to use one or two books. Bible passages, Isaiah 58, verses 11 and 12. And the Lord shall guide thee continually. I didn't hear your amen. Amen. <laughs> and the Lord shall guide thee continually. Amen. And satisfy thy soul in drought. Amen. And make fire thy bones. Amen. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. Amen. And like the spring of water, whose water fail not. Amen. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Amen. Thou shalt raise up the foundation of many generations. Amen. And thou shalt be called the repair of the bridge. Amen. This is the of the past to dwell in. Amen. Praise be to God. That will be your portion and the portion of all our listeners. Amen. 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 You see. God give them directives. Build the old ways. Mm. Number five is that they are qualified to be representative of God, ministers of God. God told, I mean, Apostle Paul told Brother Timothy, mm. he said, before anybody can be qualified to be a bishop, I mean, one other was just a minister of God. It must be somebody that is a uh, first Timothy chapter uh, second. What am I doing? First Timothy chapter three verses two and four. He said a bishop must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, not strikers. Not greedy or greedy local, but patient, mm. not a brawler, mm. nor conventious. Mm. One that ruler well his house, having his children in subjection before gravity. The one that is saying, no way they say, say <coughs> every other thing, but patience. patience. Mother was the key word for you to be a minister of God. So they, ah, they don't seem to recognize my anointing in this place, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know That's like I'm the word of God, the prophet is not doing in his house. <laughs> 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 oh my God. <laughs> All right, uh, viewers at home watching us, please would like you to be part of Springs of Life. Get to call us. The number to call is display on your TV screen. Get to call, but mute the volume on your TV set so that we can hear you loud and clear. Thank you and God bless you. Another passage is in this Timothy 2, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 10 and 11. Which will say, For the love of money is the root of all evil, evil. which why some coveted after. They have erred from their faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, mm. flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and mm -hmm. meekness. This is one of the quality, the qualification that can make you to be a man, a man of God. Mm. And of course, so if you call yourself a pastor or you call yourself a child of God, mm -hmm. these qualities that we just read now, mm -hmm. one needs to search yes. to find out, you know, definitely you will know. Your spirit will not like to you if you are qualified to be a, a true child of God. Mm -hmm. Your spirit will tell you if all of these things that uh, we just read from the Bible, if you don't have any of it with you, maybe you don't, you don't do such, yeah. then yeah. you will know that I'm qualified to call a pastor. Mm -hmm. But if you find out that you like, you still, 
you do all manner yes, of things yes, that yes. God does not approve, then you are not a pastor. Of course, I said somebody is deceiving somebody. Mm. <laughs> but if you know, you are not true. The thing you are deceiving, you can't deceive God. You can't deceive God. Because you yourself, we won't know.